Hello and welcome back, YouTube. It is, uh, God, I just checked the time and I just forgot it that quick. 4.33 p.m. Um, Friday, May 5th, 2023. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Of course, by the time you see this, it's probably going to be, you know, two or three days later, but whatever. Um, I, I want to go out. I want to go out drinking tonight. I do. And as a general rule, I don't like going out drinking on amateur drinking nights and uh yeah Cinco de Mayo definitely an amateur drinking night so so I don't know I don't know what I'm doing tonight don't know what I'm doing with my day to be honest I have no plans whatsoever um right now I am trying to get over to Rob's shop it's debatable as to whether or not I will get there before he closes up shop for the night, but I, I don't know. I just been up for a couple of hours laying in my bedroom and just feel the need to get out somewhere and do something. Uh, hey, if you didn't see my short that I shot right before I, uh, right before I went to, to do Chase Bank, which by the way, I'm coming from the Chase Bank over there, just doing the money shuffle, moving some some cash from my Wells Fargo bank, which is the one that gets my Amazon direct deposits and uh, putting it in the in the Chase Bank because there's certain things that come out of there that uh, that I'd like to be able to do and fund. And I think it was down to like three dollars in that damn account. So yeah, that's that's a that's a yikes. I don't like it. I don't like it. any balances being like that low. That's just unnerving. Um, but hey, I made it. I made it through April, so of course now I'm ready for. Now I gotta deal with not only higher rent starting next month, but also uh, also um, Phoenix summertime electric bills. Uh, because uh, yeah, maintaining air conditioning in uh, Phoenix is, is expensive and. Uh, I'm not down to be sweating the whole time I'm at home. Also kind of cruel thing to do to my cats, especially the extra fuzzy one. So as I was mentioning, um, I, I, right before this I shot a short, and I was actually thinking about shooting like a regular, you know, it's one of my regular vlog videos as I was walking from Wells Fargo over to the chase and decided against it. I don't even recall why. But I was thinking that I was just going to kind of focus it on how, how not pedestrian friendly this intersection is, in spite of the fact that it does have a, a not a lot of pedestrian traffic, but a substantial amount of pedestrian traffic. I mean, granted, uh, a substantial portion of that pedestrian traffic is from the kind of homeless people that would buy pizza or somehow obtain pizza and leave the crust on the ground over here by their other garbage. But, but hey, pedestrians nonetheless. Um, Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza. Apparently not better crust, says the homeless guy who left that crap here. All right. So, um, but yeah, I was kind of wanting to, I was, I was going to, the focus of it was going to be just how not friendly this, this, um, intersection is, is to pedestrians and like right on cue and I'm wishing I'd have shot the video. I did turn around and shoot a short just so I could get video of the jackass in the in the Corvette that was honking at me but yeah from the left hand turn lane that I'm facing uh, right now um, which is for westbound Thomas to turn south onto 44th Street um, Thomas had a red light um, to be fair so did so did 44th Street I did not have a walk signal yet but the guy in the Corvette pulled right to where that red car is, to where he was completely blocking the uh, the crosswalk. I was getting ready for the walk signal, getting ready for the cross crosswalk. And a lot of times, being that I'm, is, being that A, I kind of don't give a fuck when I'm walking, and B, um, there's a uh, guy turning left into the wrong lane. Um, kind of don't give a fuck when I'm walking, and, and B, Kind of uh, oh shit! There's the 29 that I'm wanting to wait. 
Oh, I'm like 29. Wait a minute, I'm not wanting to get on a 29. I'm wanting to get on a 44. <laughs> I'm just, oh, uh, I get I get confused. This is one of those those corners, by the way, where the uh, only about half of the Route 29s extend that way beyond 44th Street, and um, and I've, I've gone off at length about how. There's a lot of not in service buses running up and down 44th Street, which itself has woefully inadequate service. Uh, and it's a busy route, by the way. Um, there are a lot of buses that I get on that are nearly empty. The Route 44, not one of them. Unless I'm riding it north of Camelback, which begs the question if we've got a bus system that frequently has routes with buses that don't run the full length of the route. Why aren't there more buses servicing 44th Street between Camelback and Washington Street, where it is actually a busy route? Um, especially considering how many buses go between those areas. Granted, even if it's not the full length of it, with uh, with not in service. And here's another one. It says not in service. He's in the left turn lane. He's getting ready to go north. Um, hard to say exactly where he's dead heading to, but most likely that bus is preparing uh, to either become a, and there's the 29 that goes all the way uh, to Thema Park. Um, most likely that bus is preparing to become a uh, westbound 41 on Indian School or a westbound 50 on um, Camelback, in which case it's going to go north on Thomas till it gets roughly to where, you know, to, to either either near near Camelback or near uh, near Indian School. The Indian School ones are extra frustrating to me because they don't start until 32nd Street, especially considering usually when I'm riding Indian School, I'm coming to 44th Street and I need to transfer, you know, and come south to this area where I live, and. It doesn't provide, like, the part of the route where it only half the bus will service it is east of 32nd Street. But damn near every one of those buses that stop providing service at 32nd Street do drive over to 44th Street where they turn head south and then become deadhead on 44th Street and eventually turn back west and, and become a different route. So, goddamn, y'all deadheading that, that two miles between, or, uh, Sorry, mile and a half between 32nd Street and 44th Street. Can we can we put that in the route? Can that can can 44th Street be the place where the where all the buses terminate versus 32nd Street? Like, who came up with that decision? Especially since the buses are driving there anyway. Uh, the, the the expense is already taking place. Let's provide the service. Anyway, that was not what I was going to go on a tangent about. But uh, these buses are just here, kind of presenting themselves. So. Um, Anyway, uh, so yeah, um, as I was saying, uh, I'm familiar with the uh, timing of the stoplights. So a lot of times if I'm going from the Wells Fargo Bank over there and I'm crossing the street going south, um, often heading to the Wells Fargo or to the, to the Chase Bank right over there. Um, I can't really see the sign that says Chase Bank, but it's the, the, the building with the unusual shaped roof. Um, if I'm, if I'm headed, if I'm headed that way, I'll usually start walking to the median there as soon, not, not when the walk signal comes on, but as soon as southbound 44th street gets its left turn arrows, because I know, oh, look, there's a, there's a 29 headed, uh, the one that's coming from Scottsdale. Now see, this is super weird timing because you've got the 29 perched up there, which isn't going to start yet, and you got the 29 going straight through, um, and odds are that 29 going straight through will leave before the one that's just perched up there, so that one is just basically blocking the bus stop. Um, all right, there's the 44 southbound that I'm headed to, and hey, what a great time to show how far the damn bus stop is for transfer to Thomas from Thomas. It's not nearly as bad as some are, but it's... 
you know, it's a, it's a long way to expect somebody, especially say somebody who's you know elderly, maybe walks with a walker or, or or handicapped with a with a wheelchair, they've got to roll themselves to 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 go from you know where that bus is sitting there, first up taking space, twenty nine, all the way over to this bus stop over here on the other side of the horse statues. It's it's a long way to walk for a transfer. It seems like they should they could coordinate these transfers to where people have to do less walking. Anyway, so I'm starting to walk, uh, not before the walk signal is on, but as the, uh, as traffic is stopped and that way I can get, you know, halfway across that oversized strode, uh, and not have as far to walk on the sometimes not long enough walk signal. And that Corvette just completely blocking the, uh, completely blocking the crosswalk. So I, I didn't feel comfortable walking in front of it because it was was as soon as, you know, the walk signal started, there was going to be northbound traffic on 44th Street, like right there in that lane. So I walked behind it, and the entire time I was just mean mugging the guy in the car. Now, I couldn't really see him because he had uh, he had dark-tinted windows. But, uh, but, yeah, I gave him a totally dirty look and told him he was blocking the crosswalk. And then as I got by, he just started honking at me. So I... I make a short of it. Anyway, I'm here. I need to definitely find my bus pass, but thanks for coming with me on this part of the walk as I try to get over to Rob's shop and see what the hell is going on with my car.